Why are Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman joining hands? Hello guys, if you're a fan of the exciting spy series, we have brought you some good news that we will share in this video. So hang tight and stay with us till the end to get all the details and happenings going on. And don't go anywhere else, we've got everything you need to know coming right up. Firstly, what do you need to know about Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman? Kevin Costner, an American actor and filmmaker, was born on January 18, 1955, in Linwood, California. He is most recognized for his role as a tough individual with soft sides. In the movie Sizzle Beach, USA, Costner made his acting debut, originally known as Hot Malibu Summer. The movie was shot in the winter of 1978 to 1979, wasn't released until 1981, and then again in 1986. Morgan Freeman is an American actor, director, and narrator. He is well known for playing several roles in a wide range of cinema genres and for his distinctive deep voice. Coming right up, are we going to have an exciting Civil War spy series? First and foremost, we can reveal that the Civil War spy drama The Grey House, a six-hour limited series for Paramount Global, will be produced by a collaboration between Morgan Freeman, Laurie McCreary, and their Revelations Entertainment and Kevin Costner's Territory Pictures. Leslie Grief, the owner of Big Dreams Entertainment, is collaborating with the production companies of both actors to depict the tale of the three women General Ulysses S. Grant credited with contributing to the North's victory in the Civil War. With his new line ensemble Western Horizon, which he is presently filming, Costner is returning to the Civil War era. The Civil War period was depicted in Costner's seven-time Oscar-winning film Dances with Wolves, which also won Best Picture and Best Director Awards. Up next, on what will The Grey House be based? The Grey House focuses on the unheralded women who helped the North win the American Civil War, much like the women in the 2017 movie Hidden Figures, in which Costner also starred. The first effective female spy ring was established by a Richmond socialite and her daughter, an African-American who was once enslaved, and a courtesan, all while operating right in front of the Confederate High Command. They put their lives and freedom at risk in order to win the war and maintain American democracy. So what about the script, production, and release. Daryl Fetty, the offer Texas Rising, and Oscar-nominated John Sayles wrote the original script for The Grey House, Lone Star, Eight Men Out. The series, which will begin filming in the spring, will be directed by Oscar-nominated Roland Joffe, The Mission, The Killing Fields, Texas Rising. Territory Pictures will produce for Territory Pictures, with Costner serving as EP. Alex Kerr is producing for Big Dreams Entertainment. Paramount Global Content Distribution will be in charge of distributing the limited series. Costner said, The Grey House is an untold true story of three amazingly brave abolitionist heroes of the Civil War who just happen to be women. Having a passion for history, it's always personally fulfilling to share richly layered stories about America's unsung heroes. I'm delighted to join forces with my friends Leslie Grief and Morgan Freeman, with whom I've had great success in producing this important epic saga, afterwards Costner said. I'm thrilled to partner with our friends and industry legends Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman, said Dan Cohen, Chief Content Licensing Officer, Paramount Global. Their taste in material is second to none. Couple that with a chance to work again with Leslie Grief, who developed developed and executive produced the Paramount Plus series hit, The Offer. We are very much looking forward to this project bringing a worldwide audience. Morgan and I are excited to bring to life the story of Mary Bowser, who volunteered to be placed in the Confederate White House, also known as the Grey House, acting as an enslaved person, said Freeman and his Revelations Entertainment partner Lori McCreary. Everyone spoke freely in front of her since they assumed she was illiterate, and with her photographic memory, she was able to provide the Union Army with information on battles and other sensitive matters which helped the war's outcome. This truth needs to be shared, since that is what revelations are all about. Up next, what other important revelations are made by the author and director? As with the offer, the Hatfields and the McCoys, and Sun Records, Grief remarked, I found enormous success in researching things that viewers have heard of, but may not know the full story. The Grey House fits that description. Everyone is aware of the Civil War, but not of the influence numerous women had on its course. The fact that Kevin Costner, Morgan Freeman, and Laurie McCreary invested their fervor, influence, and hearts in having this miniseries approved makes me incredibly happy and blessed. The Grey House is in excellent hands because of Paramount's strength and influence in launching the offer. As a director, Joffe exclaimed, I'm thrilled to bring these ladies of historical significance to the screen. They are strong, courageous, and decision makers who have dared to transform the world in the face of impossibly difficult challenges. It is uncommon to find content with characters that are so wonderfully complex and layered. For today's audience, I can't wait to bring these four unique ladies to life. Coming right up, what other series are being produced by Revelations Entertainment? Invictus, Five Flights Up, The Sea Word, and the CBS TV series Madam Secretary are among the movies produced by Revelations Entertainment and starring Morgan Freeman and Lori McCreary. Recent honors include a Peabody Award for the ESPN 30 for 30 episodes of The 16th Man, three Emmy nominations for Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman, and an Emmy nomination for The Story of God with Morgan Freeman. For his work in Clint Eastwood's Million Dollar Baby, Freeman received the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Representatives for Morgan Freeman, Lori McCreary, and Revelations include Skylar M. Moore of Greenberg Glusker, Jason 
Sloan of Sloan, Offer, Weber & Dern, and Fred Spector of CAA. Up next, what will happen on the 100th anniversary of Howard Carter's King? Most recently, the 10-hour event series The Offer for Paramount Plus was conceptualized, co-written and executive produced by Grief and Big Dreams. The two-part event documentary Kiss Story was produced by Grief and Big Dreams for A&E and debuted on the opening night of the Tribeca Film Festival. Big Dreams is teaming up with Discovery for a two-hour special celebrating the 100th anniversary of Howard Carter's King Tut's Discovery as a follow-up to 2019's Egypt Live special, shown in 95 countries. Grief previously created Hatfields and McCoys, a limited series that won the Costner Award under his Think Factory imprint. So what are some other best spy series to watch? Firstly, The Blacklist. In the American crime drama The Blacklist, James Spader plays Raymond Red Reddington, a former U.S. Navy officer turned criminal who gives the FBI a blacklist in exchange for immunity and other amusing benefits. The fact that Red is assisting the FBI with his list of criminals and spies suggests that the show belongs to the spy and espionage subgenres, even though it falls more into the thriller, mystery, and crime categories. Since the first episode of The Blacklist aired in 2013, there have been nine seasons and almost 200 episodes. Next, we have The Night Manager. The Night Manager, an espionage thriller that debuted on the BBC in 2016, is frequently disregarded, despite being unquestionably one of the best shows in the genre. Since then, it has been imported to AMC in the US, expanding its reach. The six episodes of the show are jam-packed with action, suspense, and excellent acting. A night manager of a hotel goes undercover to help take down an arms trading ring in the plot of The Night Manager, which has Tom Hiddleston from the MCU and Hugh Laurie from House leading a very strong cast. As expected, mayhem and suspense ensue. Coming right up, Burn Notice. From 2007 through 2013, the American spy television series Burn Notice aired for seven seasons and a movie. The CIA has disavowed Jeffrey Donovan's character, Michael Weston, and fans follow along to see what that entails. The act instantly grabs the audience's interest as Weston looks for the truth. Being burned as a spy can devastate a person's life as their prior existence is isolated from their new surroundings. Burn Notice is a great show for people who like spy and espionage shows on TV. It has even influenced some newer shows in the same genre. Lastly, The Americans. The Americans, which debuted in 2013 and ran for six engrossing seasons, has established itself as one of the top spy dramas and thrillers on television. The show examines the responsibilities and demands on both sides while taking place during the Cold War and centering on two Russian spies who pose as an American couple and family. The Jennings family's domestic life is occasionally given enough attention in the Americans. Still, the tension is always present because the audience knows that being a spy isn't always going to be simple. Fans of spy dramas must see the Americans, which merits high praise. And that's all about this exciting news and the best spy series of all time. Which series is your favorite? Tell us in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated and entertained with our videos. We'll meet you in the next video. Until then, take care guys. Goodbye.